Just set up the printer's dashboard by entering your IP address from um, clicking left onto your properties in your control panel and going to your printer properties and um, going to printer status and configuring your printer, which will bring you to this dashboard where you've created your user ID and password. Okay, so um, you will then go into this page, okay? And what I want you to know is that we want to start changing the LED color and brightness, okay? So the LED light bar is a solid color when the printer is functioning properly and there's no errors, whereas um, the LED light will flash when there's an error or when the printer um, is hoppers open or the um yeah so things are not correct um so the default color is purple but you can change the color and brightness of the light bar by using your printer dashboard okay so what i want you to do is click on the um, drop down menu and select configuration and settings okay so this will take some time so just be patient with it Okay, great. So um, basically in the drop down menu um, on the left, you can select the LED light bar. Okay, great. So this is a set, you can change the settings for your LED light bar. Um, so I'm just going to close my printer cover. And then, um, okay, so you can select the color tone from the options at display. So you can manually change them um, with brightness, green intensity, red intensity, or blue intensity. Um, and these are the default values, so you can't go higher than those. But <clears throat> I'm going to um, change the new RG color fields by um, basically clicking onto LED color panel, okay. So as you can see, um, the color tone is purple um, and it is displayed. So I would like to change it to um, more of a red for easy hard colors. I'm gonna change it from purple to blue so it's easier for everyone to see, um, but I'm just gonna wait for it to, to load, okay. So click LED color and click blue. So I think I'm gonna choose quite a dark blue. That one's quite good and click save okay now you can see that the color has changed so you can change it to your brand color or um, your icon colors whatever it is that you like so yeah that was quick and simple and it says that the settings are saved so we'll display the new color and brightness and if you want to change the color back to the default settings, then enter the settings that display in the default value column into the current value field and select save. Okay, so um, before this was obviously zero. So you would just click that to be zero and um, you would change that back to 255 and 255, okay. So, um, or you can just click on the range again and click back to that purpley um, pinky color, okay. So I'm just going to click save.